Hi, my name is Jean Power, and I work for the King County Environmental Laboratory in Seattle as a field scientist. In a nutshell, the King County Environmental Laboratory does a lot of water quality sampling, and then we do the testing of those samples. For about six months of the year, we collect water quality samples um, at about 25 beaches around King County, and it includes samples from Lake Washington, Lake Sammamish, and Green Lake. Those samples get tested for microbiology and also toxic algae potential. So at each station when we arrive, we'll walk down to the beach and we'll take a look around just to assess the general conditions of the beach. And then we'll don our gloves and we'll walk into the water and we'll collect usually two bottles, one for fecal coliform analysis and one for possible toxic algae analysis. And then we'll pull out our handy digital thermometer and take a temperature reading. And lastly, we sort of look around and count up how many geese might be there, or ducks, or dogs, and we also count how many swimmers are there. And that's about it. It's pretty simple sampling. If the results from our initial testing come back high for bacteria, we will go out another day that week to collect a second round of samples just to check to make sure that there's really a problem. Same pretty much for the algae samples. If it persists, they'll, they'll close the beach to keep people and pets away from that problem water. Really, it all did stem from the whole sewage treatment plant deal because they used to just discharge the raw sewage from Issaquah right out into the lake until I think in the 60s sometime. And same for Lake Washington. And so the lake's monitoring programs got started in response to the water quality issues in both Lake Sammamish and Lake Washington. And then the swimming beaches program stemmed from wanting to do some more intense monitoring at places where people, people were directly exposed to the water, swimming or otherwise. And I think now it's evolved to the point where there's cooperation among the King County government and the various city governments and the citizen groups just to try to make sure these speeches are clean and safe for people to use.